keep educators in the Magnolia State. And according to one lawmaker, there are hundreds of teachers vacancies statewide. Jewel Hillary joins us live now from the state capitol with more on what they have planned. Good morning, Jewel. Good morning, Brandon. Good morning, Katina. Well, the teacher shortage task force meeting is expected to take place starting at 10 o'clock this morning here at the state capitol and the chairman of the Senate Education Committee. He told me that there are at least 1000 teaching vacancies across the state of Mississippi. However, leaders with the Mississippi Association of Education, they believe that many of those spots could be filled by simply paying teachers salaries a little bit more. And joining us this morning, we have the president of the MAE, Miss Joyce Helmick. Joyce Thank you so very much for joining us this morning. I know this is a battle that you all have been fighting for several years now, but what's different in your approach in terms of trying to get more pay for teachers? Well, this year um, we had um, backtracked to after the session last year and we started working with our members, traveling across the state, training our members to um, to know exactly what it is they want in, in their priorities. And then we have trained them to talk with their legislators and we have a huge grassroots effort going on uh, all the way across the state. We've trained teachers, we've worked with educators of all levels and um, we have introduced our CARE Act, okay. which is confirm a raise for educators. Uh, we, we hit the streets with that, so to speak, in September and we're going full throttle with it. Okay, so more optimistic this year that there could be some change this legislative session in terms of getting more pay for teachers. Uh, actually, we're hearing a lot of positive feedback on that. We we are very optimistic about that, um, partially because of our grassroots efforts, okay. um, and because we know that there's money there to uh, uh, to support our public schools, and we're very excited that uh, many of our lawmakers have decided that this is the time to. Um, to support our teachers in our public schools. All right, Joyce, thank you for joining us this morning. Brandon, and, Brandon and Katina, back to you guys in the studio. Jewel, thanks. New this morning, a Pine Belt superintendent is under fire from a state senator over what he said about the country.